Conor Bryant for MMA Heat. I'm here with Christoph Szczynski, who's got a fight coming up at UFC 140 against Igor Pokryuk. Yes. Okay, the battle of the names. I'm going to get it out. Yes, exactly. <laughs> battle of the consonants, right? Totally, totally. For sure. I win. I think I win. No, but. you do. You have more consonants. And that's one of those things where I was thinking, like, it's going to be a total killer to try to tweet you guys. And at right, least you have right. an easy Twitter handle. But I was like, Pokryuk Szczynski. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, what do you what do you make of him as an opponent? How, how, do you, how tough do you think this fight's going to be for you? No, I think it's going to be a very tough fight. I think we, my sty uh, stylistically, we match up really well. He um, he's uh, he's a he likes to s loves to stand and bang, which is what kind of what I like. You know, I mean, I've always a, I'm a huge fan of those Stefan Bonner, Forrest Griffin type fights. My my two wars with Stefan were great. And mm -hmm. I love those kind of fights. You know, I, I love I love when 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 you're in a dead arena and you just feel everybody stand up and cheer and go crazy when when you're throwing punches and he's throwing punches and it goes back and forth. I love those kind of fights, and I have a feeling this could be one of those kind of fights. So mm -hmm. I'm really excited. I prepared myself really well for it. 15 week training camp as always. Brutal, but uh, yeah, I know. Uh, brutal, but uh, it's been well worth it, and I'm really looking forward to Toronto next weekend. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about the the 15 weeks. What's the <laughs> What's the philosophy behind that? You know what? Um, I'm no longer the 24 year old I was when I started in the sport. <laughs> it's been 10 years, and uh, and it's I'm a little older. You know, yeah. I have to start my camps a little slower. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I always talk with my with my training partners and teammates, and I know some guys here come in and they only start camp for six weeks. I find six weeks is enough time for you to get ready. Yeah. You know, you feel like you have to start your camp already, you know, peaking slowly. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, you know, I like to take my rest after my fights. Uh, I like to I like to enjoy myself a little bit mm -hmm. and come back kind of fresh. Yeah. And, and I want to start right here and then slowly each week build it up. So that's why I might have a 15-week camp. Um, I find it works for me really well. Um, we implemented it for Mark Munoz's last fight as well with uh, with uh, with Curry Lieben. Mm -hmm. And it worked for him really well as well. You know, we started really slowly and we just started, you know, slowly building up, you know, the, 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 the consistency, the, 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 the speed of the camp. Camp, the, the 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 cardio stuff, the strength training stuff. So it's been working so far. I'm going to stick with it. Yeah. Well, and you say you like to enjoy yourself. I know we've talked before that you love a buffet, a good buffet. <laughs> I think everybody does. I think everybody does. <laughs> I was last time I was in Vegas. I saw they had a king of buffets pass that you can go to like seven buffets oh, wow. all day. It's, nice. a, it's ridiculous. Like, right. I, unnecessary. But uh, but how big? You know, I, I know you used to be quite big when you were a bodybuilder and stuff. So what's your walk around weight though? I mean, and how yeah, how big what? are we Actually, talking? Actually, uh, for, for me, I'm get too big. Yeah. I get up to 230. Yeah, you know, 230 is, is is how much I want to get up to. And then, and then it's, for me, it's just not not the the quantity of the food is the quality. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I like a nice steak. Yeah. I like a nice nice juicy chicken breast and <laughs> right. a little bit of pasta and stuff like that. I yeah. just don't want to overdo it. Right. Um, so if I can start my camp out about 230, 232, then you know, and slowly progress each week, and I feel yeah. fantastic. Yeah, that's good. So it's not about losing 40 pounds the first no, week. No, yeah. No, that's that's crazy I mean? that some people do that. I used to do that myself. Yeah. I used to, I used to be a big boy when I first got into the light heavyweight division, you know, walk around about 245. Mm -hmm. That's that's a lot of weight to cut, 40 pounds. So uh, I kind of got it down, scaled down now with, with my with my case off system, the nutrition, the conditioning, the strength training, the cut uh, is mm -hmm. down to a science. I wake up right now about 218, 219 in the mornings, and I'm still eating six meals a day, and I'm drinking a gallon and a half of water. So that's fantastic. But you are a big dude for 205. I'm a pretty big dude for 205. <laughs> there are bigger guys out there, but uh, you know, yeah, I definitely know. I, I found that when I was fighting at heavyweight, I was a little too small. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, the, the fights with Ben Roth what kind of put me in my place, and I, that's when I decided to go down to 205, and it was a great move for me. Yeah. Now, the last time you fought Stefan, it didn't go your way, and Igor has lost to Stefan as well. Did you look at his fight? Did you oh, look at course. your last one? And what did you see? Yeah, we you should studied, do differently. Or? We definitely said it. You know, for for me with uh, with the fight with um, with Stefan, the second fight, you know, I just got caught with a good knee. Yeah. And uh, for the first time ever in my career, everything kind of went blurry. Uh, I didn't know what that. I I never experienced that before. Yeah. So when you when you, I got caught with the knee and the chin and just kind of dropped and everything kind of went blurry, I tried to get up, but the blurriness was still there. I was kind of a little, little groggy and stuff like that. And he just kept, kept throwing punches. You know, I just couldn't get up from that. And the second he stopped, everything went back to normal, and I was fine. So it's, <laughs> it's kind of too bad. You know, what I mean, yeah. I, I watched this fight against. Uh, I watched Igor's fight against yeah. Stefan, and Stefan did a really good job of taking him down and controlling him on the ground. Um, that's not necessarily the kind of fight I want. But if the opportunity is there, I'm mm -hmm. going to go there. But uh, I know he's been training really hard. I'm sure he's been working really hard on his ground and pound and on his on his on his ground game. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, I'm just I'm just going to be ready for a nice fun fight. Yeah. So we know that. Mark, obviously, Munoz here has a very strong wrestling background, and mm -hmm. you know that uh, you've been training with him for a long time. But in terms of your jujitsu, where do you go for that? I don't. You know what? Um, I think we're we're a really good team here. Where it's not specifically a jujitsu gym, mm -hmm. it's more of a good ground control gym. Okay. You know, when you have yeah. your wrestlers, but you also have good wrestlers who know how to do their jujitsu. You know, we do have some reggae really jujitsu guys. We have guys like Fabrice Verdun who comes mm -hmm. in quite often right. and helps us and trains with us a lot. Uh, we 
have we have uh, uh, Jason Me? Manley, okay, well, who's okay. here, um, and he's helping us on a daily basis as uh -huh. well. So, so we're not at Jiu Jitsu gym per se, where yeah. we're going to be looking for 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 submissions all the time. Mm -hmm. But I, I think we're good enough that we can either get up or or end up on top. Mm -hmm. Well, I did notice that's one drill that you were going over with Mark, and his was yeah, the get up. Don't try to pull guard. Yeah, don't definitely. do this. Like, let's just get it back. You if, know, if, if you notice nowadays, um, you know, if you're on top, you're winning your fight. You know, what I mean, there's not too many guys right now where the judges will give you the fight if you're on the bottom. Right. So, so our goal in this gym is is no matter what, if you get taken down, your goal is to get up. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, you know, if you are going against somebody who's a little weaker in the jiu-jitsu game and you feel like you're a little better, then okay, I totally understand. You know, would you have a good jiu-jitsu guy on top of you? The best thing to do is to get up. Yeah. And uh, that's what we've been working really hard on uh, with, with Mark and all the other great wrestlers that we mm -hmm. have here. And uh, it's, it's been working really well for us. Um, you know, we were, I think we're, I think, like 4-0 and in the last four fights mm -hmm. that some of our teammates have yeah. had. And it's been, you know, we're on a good roll right now. Yeah, you are in a good roll. And it's funny, too, because just uh, thinking about it, Ellen Berger's been doing very well. Absolutely. Uh, Mayhem's got a big fight coming up. Yeah, that's right. This weekend. <laughs> I'm really excited about that one. And then some of our some of our guys who are, you know, like Brett Cooper, yeah. who's just on a tear right now. Emmanuel Newton, who's uh, who's I believe just on the injury reserve list for the UFC. Okay. So you know we have a lot of nice. She's fighting Fedor. She's fighting Fedor. You know what I mean? In Fedor. six weeks. That's just crazy. That's you know I mean? crazy. It's, it's awesome. So it's we have a great, great gym. You know, Pat Cummings is here now. Uh, CR is here now as well. I mean, we have a great group of guys who train really hard and help each other out, and it, it's awesome. And yeah. the best part about our gym, like I said, maybe we talked earlier, is we don't have coaches. Yeah. You know, I mean, we coach each other. You know, we have input from everybody. You know, whether Mark. If some stuff that worked for Mark might not work for everybody else. But I might take a little point from Mark that he'll show. I might take a little something from Ishi that he will show. Something from Mayhem. Something from Pat Cummings. Something from Lou Pauly. Yeah. And then, you know, put it into my game. You know what I mean? And, and, and evolve that way. So it's really nice to have all these great great wrestlers, good strikers, and great jiu-jitsu guys that can all come together as one and, and, and build our own, own little ways about it. Own fight mecca. Exactly. How long are you going to keep fighting? Uh, that's a good question. That's a good question. You know, this is... This is uh, I'm almost 10 years in now. Yeah. And uh, I will be honest with you. Um, I don't think I was ever meant to be in this sport. Really? Like, my body, physically, mentally, I, I was never that guy. You know what I mean? Like You uh, look like that guy when I, I see look you working. Uh, you look like sure. you know what you're doing. For sure. I, it's, it's a good cover. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, but I, I really honestly don't think I was ever meant for this sport. And, uh, uh, you know, my body's definitely paying a little price for it. You know what I mean? A lot of injuries, uh, you know, little aches and pains here and there. But, you know, I'm dealing with it really well. Um, I think I have maybe two more years left. Yeah. We'll see. Well, you know, with each fight, I kind of talk with my wife. I talk with my family. talk with my son. And we kind of see where we're at. You know, I mean, I'm also trying out new things. You know, I'm getting into DJing. Really? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I, I started I started doing some stunt work. So I was in the, in the movie Immortals for Mickey Work. I was fantastic. I was a stunt double in that really? movie. Um, I did a movie with Kevin James called Here Comes the Boom, which the UFC was part of, and it'll uh -huh. be out next summer. So you know, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of getting into that thing as well. I think I, everybody tells me I have this look. <laughs> so, uh, you definitely have the look. So, so I'm kind of trying to use it to to you know trying not to get beat up every time I go out there and try to make a living. So. Well, okay. Wait, now this. I have a few questions, but you would make you would you would make the, uh, a fantastic bad guy. I mean, I hate to say that. <laughs> no, no, I mean, obviously, I know you're a very good guy, but sure. you would make like the ultimate badass. Yeah, no, I think I think the bald head and the tattoos and totally. the, the build kind of kind of speak for itself. So I'll take that. I'll, Are you taking I'll, acting classes? You know what? I haven't had a chance to take any acting classes uh -huh. yet. But uh, when I auditioned for uh, for the role that I had with uh, with Kevin James, yeah. it was for a fighter role, so sure. I had it down pat. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not, not not too many speaking roles, but I definitely that's definitely something I would love to do. And and uh, hopefully that once my MMA career starts slowly winding right. down, I can right. start kind of looking forward towards, you know, driving out to Hollywood and auditioning for some roles and then seeing if we can get into some, 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 some I know some know, people. I can introduce you to Let's some do people. It. Seriously. Let's do it. I'm actually, um, Garrett Warren, who uh, was an amazing stunt co uh, co uh, coordinator, uh -huh. he did Avatar. Oh, wow. Well, okay. And then he did this Here Comes the Boom, and uh -huh. he's the one that got me on with Mickey right. for, for Immortals. Uh, he took a really good liking to me. You know I mean? He likes my work ethic, mm -hmm. how hard I work. Um, and... Uh, and I think we'll have a chance to hopefully work again together. Cool. Cool. No, I know you did say you have some aches and pains because you did have to have some knee surgery <laughs> this yes. year. I remember, well, we talked last January at the at the uh, fitness expo. Yes. And said you were telling we're doing this and doing that. I mean, that went okay, though, for you, right? I mean, you know, yeah, you know, it's it, the thing is, after a knee surgery, you're, everything's fine because right. it heals up and stuff like that. But once you get going right back into the gym and once you start training really, really hard, yeah. um, you know, injuries are just part of the game. And you just, it, you know, it's all... It's just a mental game, really. Yeah. It's, it's more mental than physical. Right. You know what I mean? I think all of us, 
every single fighter has never fought at 100%. We all go into right. a fight with something. It's how you deal with it mentally. And, and so far, I've been doing a pretty good job. You know, I, mean, I have surrounded myself with really good people, positive. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean, I have a, a you know, I have a really good support system at home and, and in the gym. And um, so far, so good. Can't complain. So when you're DJing, what's your what do you play? Uh, I love uh, house electro. Yeah. So like Steve Aoki, the Bloody Beat Roots, Mustard Pimp, all those kind of DJs. You so told I'm kind me about Mustard Pimp before. Absolutely, I love those guys. Amazing. Uh, and uh, you know, I, I this kind of music I like. I listen to it all the time, and uh, I'm kind of learning about beats and learning how to put things together. Mm -hmm. And uh, after this fight, I'm going to get my my first DJ set, my CDJs, my mixer, and uh, nice. get to meet some DJs. And I'm going to help me out. Oh well, I know some DJs as well. That's awesome. the thing. I'm dialed in, Christoph. <laughs> That's fantastic. I'm, I'm well, good to talk a little bit more. <laughs> totally. So you can you can start DJing your own walkout too, like come making up a whole day, mix. Yeah, day. that'd be killer. Yeah, that'd be killer. I Although so. I did see you said this is the only dance you know, right? So is that, far. So far. That's it. So far. <laughs> I'll teach you to dance if you show rather, me how to throw rather, a good hook. I'd rather, uh, rather make music than dance. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, maybe we'll have an MMA heat party and you can do it. I would love to. I would love that. Well, Christoph, you know, like I said, it's been a while since I've been down here and I, it's it's my bad because it's always fun to see you guys. Oh, for sure. Um, you're looking great. And, um, and you know, 140 is going to be fun for you. It's, it's a Canada crowd. I'm 2 0 in Canada. I'm 2 0 <laughs> Montreal yeah. uh, against Brian Stan and then Mike Massenzio in Vancouver. Beat those guys both. Uh, 2 0 in Canada, hoping to make it 3 0. Um, I've been to the very first Toronto card, yeah. the 60,000. That was amazing. Yeah. Um, loved it. And, and I know even though we're going to a smaller venue, I mean, the crowd's still going to be awesome. I know it's sold out already, 22,000 yeah. seats. Um, and, you know, I get to, I get to you know, showcase my skills in Canada again. I'm really excited. So I get to go back home. So I'm very excited about that. Awesome. Cool. Well, good luck to you. Thank you very much. Great to see you. Great to see you, too.